Hi, my name is Tony, and I live in California. I've been a lifelong Republican. Until 2016, I was very active. I served on the Republican Central Committee in our county. I was a past president of Republican Women's Federated, the Women's uh, Club. And I was having misgivings about the about the party for a number of years. So it just, things like they weren't uh, trying to protect the environment again. They weren't, they were against gun control laws. They, they seem to have more and more uh, right wing nuts, you know, the conspiracy theorists and stuff in the party. But I kept making excuses and sticking in there while I was slowly backing away, too, until uh, Trump ran for president. I mean, I'd already dropped out of the Republican Loans Federated. I already stopped watching Fox News. And then as I saw the Trump winning the primaries in state after state, I just could not believe it. I could not believe it. And finally, by the time California... Uh, was able to vote. I voted for Kasich, who'd already dropped out of the dropped out of the primary, and then I voted Hillary Clinton in the general election. I changed my registration to independent for a year, and then I became a Democrat. And I'm really embarrassed that it took me so long to leave the Republican Party. And I've been trying this last four years to work as hard as I can to get Trump out of office. I'm voting for Biden. I've been praying every day. Remove this horrible man. Remove these these horrible Republicans that are in control in our Congress and doing these outrageous things. They show no integrity, no courage, no principles, just power and money to the donor class. And um, writing postcards, going on marches, writing letters, you know, texting everything that I can think of. And I'm on Twitter. So um, hang in there. I feel like our Constitution is hanging by a thread. And it's not just our democracy that is at risk. It's the whole planet. If we do not do something about global warming... We don't just lose our our country, we lose the earth. That's my story.